All right, guys, back with part two of the Maison Tahite fragrances. About a month after the last video I did of Maison Tahite cacao collection fragrances, today I'm doing the vanilla collection fragrances. And we have another giveaway as well. The folks at Ministry of Scent, where these fragrances are selling, uh, are doing a giveaway of the entire Maison Tahite fragrances collection. 14 samples of all to one lucky subscriber of this channel from the USA. This is a US say giveaway because the the folks at Ministry of Scent do not ship outside of the uh, the country. So if you want to find out about these fragrances, it's a ranked list just like the last one, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today we're talking about Maison Tahite fragrances. We've got five fragrances once again, just like the Cacao Collection. Uh, and actually, Maison Tahite Vanilla Collection launched before the Cacao Collection. I believe the Vanilla Collection came out in 2020. The Cacao Collection came out in 2021. And last year, the Coffee Collection came out late last year. And I think they have another collection launching this year. I'll find out when I go to Exxon's uh, in a couple of weeks. Well, actually, uh, it's at the end of March. But let's go ahead and get started. But before I do, I should mention mention also there is a discount code which is not actually a discount code if you buy any bottles or fragrances uh, about in a bottle from uh, Ministry of Scent including these or the cacao collection or the coffee collection or any brand if you just buy a bottle you can put the code Sebastian 6 while you're checking out and add six different samples of any fragrances and you get samples for free so they can't do a discount on their fragrances there but they do offer those uh, you know samples which are really really awesome I have that in the info box you can find out more about it but we're gonna go ahead and get started at number five this is cell of Vanille. So initially, I liked the idea of this particular fragrance. I thought it was going to go in the direction of something like L'Artisan Parfumer's Color Vanille or Vanilla Vibes from Juliet Has a Gun. For me, this one goes into a major marine direction. So the fragrances are all 120, 100 ml uh, size. EDP, that's what this one is. So it's not overly expensive. They're definitely around the price of designer fragrances nowadays. And this particular fragrance is created by David Marut. So the notes are vanilla, marine notes, sage, jasmine, aquatic notes, cedar wood. So these are the notes we're playing with, but in the end, it's all about vanilla. This is a vanilla collection. So the vanilla stands out quite a bit here. But for me, it's an overdose of marine notes. You're definitely swimming in sea with this fragrance. There's definitely the idea of uh, saltiness here. But in addition to the saltiness, which Color Vanille and uh, Juliet has a gun's vanilla vibes, creates a beachy vibe here. It's definitely a marine vibe. Do you like the idea of marine fragrances, salty fragrances, all combined with vanilla? You know, I have to be honest, it's ranked at five. I do like it, but I don't love it. And also, because I'm so sensitive, very, very sensitive to marine notes, uh, I don't know if you guys uh, have sensitivities to marine notes. Some of you do, I know. There's that kind of sulfuric smell that uh, it gets added to the fragrances that are created to be marine fragrances. So there's a sensitivity around that, and I am very sensitive to this, and that's why I've ranked it at number five. But because I am sensitive, as I was saying, it's very potent. It's a very potent fragrance for me. It has really, really great longevity and actually all of these do but I think my sensitivity to this particular note is making the fragrance even stronger if that makes sense so either way we're starting with Selvani uh, it's my least favorite of the collection and obviously you know because it's marine but uh, I think it was actually wearable when I was testing it it's not like too uh, overwhelming but it is pretty marine all right so moving on to the fourth fragrance at number four we've got vanilla squared or vanilla to the second power so this is here at number four but i felt like it was the most vanilla like it's the vanillic overdose here very very vanillic and sweet and powdery and it's basically an overdose of vanilla here and I like it I just put it here because I like the contrast of the other fragrances a little more but if you're looking for a straightforward overdose of vanilla sugary you know powdery resinous ambery you're definitely gonna like vanilla to the second power vanilla square so it's $120 100 ml once again EDP the perfumer for this one is Marie Duchenne it features vanilla times two vanilla flower praline notes powdery notes benzoin resinoid so as you can see it's a very powdery fragrance here you definitely experience the powders here it has a powdery edge 
but it has that praline note. So very, very sweet. The praline adds sweetness to the vanilla and it's already vanilla here. We've got vanilla in the two different stages of this fragrance. And then you also have the benzoin, and which is also vanillic and resinous and ambery. So you've got an overdose of vanilla here. And it's a vanilla bomb for me. For me, it also kind of reminds me of a few other similar fragrances, I think. And it wasn't as exciting as the three other fragrances that are coming up after this. But I think some of you like the idea of just vanilla and this is what you're gonna get. But of course, you do have the powderiness, you do have light floral touches, you do have a little light chocolatiness, for sure carameliness, and then of course, ambery touches when it's drying down. So it's a, it's a vanilla bomb for sure. And that's why I think it's called Vanilla to the Second or Vanilla Squared. So it's Maison Tahiti Vanilla. Uh, squared or vanilla to the second power uh, is at number four. So moving on to the third fragrance and I had a bit of a challenging time to put number three here with this one or move it to number two. In the end, I feel like vanilla definitely deserves the third spot because I enjoyed it a little less than the number two and number one. Number two and number one and even number three I feel like are the best in the collection. At least in my opinion they are. It's a 100 ml bottle for $120. EDP and once again it's Marie Duchenne the perfumer. Once again we've got vanilla times two here. We've got vanilla flower. We've got almond flower coconut flower, benzoin resinoid, musks, patchouli, and citrus peel. So this one, obviously, it's a little more of an adventure wearing this fragrance in comparison to the last fragrance. But again, when you go to the Cell de Vanille, or which one is it? Yeah, Cell de Vanille. Uh, it, once again, that is also a bit of an adventure. But for me, the fourth fragrance, the one that's all about a vanilla, the vanilla bomb, it's a little more linear. It's mostly about vanilla. Here you are going through an adventure and you do experience the patchouli for sure. It totally stands out. The musks appear for sure. Light hints of citrus uh, appears as well. And then you do have the flowers coming in. The almond flower, the coconut flower, and the vanilla flower. So there's definitely a kind of like a spring-like flower or floral touch here to the fragrance. But in the end, it's lots of vanilla. It's lots of vanilla. But I like the contrast here a little more. I like that earthiness of the patchouli. I like the ambery resinous touch of the benzoin resinoid. And again, I like it because vanilla really is so versatile. You can put a lot of different things against it and it starts smelling great. I mean, they did it with the Cell Vanille. They, yep, they put marine notes there and it, it was working fine. Just not my cup of tea, obviously. But here, it's this really, the patchouli works really great. The flower touches really work really great. The citrusiness does work great. And it creates for a great fragrance. Again, this was almost number two, but I think I prefer, I definitely, I not I think, I definitely prefer for number two at number two and you'll find out what it is but anyway vanillade is the third uh, number three fragrance from Maison Tahiti's uh, vanille collection or vanilla collection and then uh, it's interesting I ended up with number one and number two by the same perfumer created by Lucien Ferrero this is Floranilla at number two so there's something interesting about this fragrance that I really, really like. That's why I put it here. So once again, it's $120 for 100 ml. It's EDP concentration. It features notes of vanilla absolute, violet absolute, iris concrete, heliotrope, vanilla, vetiver Haiti, myrrh, and tangerine. So I like this combo. I like the combo of vanilla with violets. And you know what it reminds me of? So this fragrance kind of reminds me of uh, Dior's Fahrenheit Le Parfum. Not the original. The Parf Le Parfum, which has lots of vanilla, a bit of a boozy vanilla and leather. The only thing that's not here with this fragrance in comparison to Dior's Fahrenheit Le Parfum is that that one has leather. This one does not have leather. So this one creates more of a ozonic van uh, violet touch and also violet candy at the same time with the, the powderiness, light almondiness from the, the heliotrope, the woody earthiness from the, the, the vetiver, and then of course light citrusy touch from the tangerine. But it's really delicious, you know? I like the violet touch. I think violet is maybe an acquired taste, maybe also a classic note. But those of you that are into the, you know Fahrenheit, I think you would appreciate this one. Because for me, it says violet absolute on the Maison Tahite website. I definitely pick up a, an ozonic uh, undertone here and I feel like it's the violet leaves and definitely the powderiness and more like violet candy touch in comparison to the vanilla. A really yummy fragrance. I really like this one. It's totally different. Uh, then again, it reminds me of uh, Fahrenheit Le Parfum. Again, don't 
think it's gonna smell like Fahrenheit the original. I'm mostly speaking about that vanillic overdose in Fahrenheit Le Parfum that's in here, minus the leather in that fragrance because I don't get leather here. It's more earthy, woody, powdery, and a little bit almondy as well and resinous sweetness uh, from the myrrh. This is really good, Flora. Nilla is the uh, number two fragrance from Maison Tahite. And then finally, number one fragrance, hands down, is Van Ecstasy with a great name as well. This is also a fragrance created by Lucien Ferrero. $120 for 100 ml, great price on these fragrances, as I said. This one's hand down the best in the collection. Really love the way it smells. It's gonna really, really perform really beautifully. And it's kind of a combination of spices and amber and lots of vanilla for me. Definitely has balsamic touch. It features notes of vanilla absolute, coconut milk, balsam of Peru, caramel accord, sandalwood, cedar wood. Man, it's so delicious. I kept wanting to wear this and I wore it over the weekend last weekend, I should say, while I was doing taxes. It really has kind of a calming effect. And also the spices are a bit spiky and really uplifting at the same time as it's kind of like calming me. But man, it's so delicious, so, so good. Ambery for sure, earthy woody for sure. Definitely the woodiness really balances out and uh, creates for an anchor for the fragrance. But then you've got that overdose of vanilla with the Peru balsam and the coconut milk to give you a gourmand uh, edge to the fragrance. And I feel like there's definitely spices here even though they don't mention spices there's definitely like a spiciness about it but it's kind of a non-distinct spice you know uh, I'm not sure what the spice is I, I couldn't tell uh, but could be like uh, maybe something like uh, uh, maybe like nutmeg or maybe something like cardamom a little bit although ca cardamom is so distinct I'm thinking uh, the spice in here is a more something like nutmeg where it's not overly distinct. But this is hands down the best in the collection. Van Ecstasy is yummy. You guys go Russian. Take advantage of getting that fragrance, especially if you love vanilla at $120. That is my favorite of the collection. So we do have that giveaway, as I said, a sample set of all 14 fragrances from Maison Tahite. There's five vanilla, five cacao, and four of the coffee. Uh, and uh, all you have to do to participate in the giveaway is uh, write down what you liked about this video and which fragrance would you buy after listening to my review if you were to buy one. And then please put down your state. This is a USA only giveaway and this is sponsored by Ministry of Scent here in uh, San Francisco who sells uh, the brand. Uh, anyway guys, uh, thanks so much for watching today's video. Remember to use the code SEBASTIAN6 it's a discount code in a way that it will give you six samples for free if you buy a bottle of any fragrance from uh, the store, Ministry of Scent. Uh, when you're checking out, add the samples along with the bottle you're buying and then put the code in Sebastian6 and you will get the samples for free. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today's video. Um, in, in regard to the coffee collection, I think I'm gonna have to do that when I come back from my trip. I'm leaving in a week and uh, I'll be gone for a month. So probably after I come back sometime in April, by the end of April, I'll get the coffee collection done. But anyway, thanks so much for watching today. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.